Hello everyone, I'm Michelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I am reading I'm That Girl and we're on chapter four. And if you hear some rumbling, <laughs> we're under a severe thunderstorm watch and it looks nasty outside, but it's finally cooler. It's been 80 and 90 and 100 degrees. And that's very odd for this time of year. So the theme of this chapter was more about um, checking your tongue, like you can use your tongue to build somebody up or to tear somebody down. And they specifically talked about, you know, sticks and stones break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Um, they just think it's so wrong. And I think that's very true too. I think it's hard to block the negativity that people tell you about. And I think especially for a child, you have to be positive. There's so much negative in the world that's so important that you're positive and that's something you probably never <laughs> thought about when I had kids. I was just like follow the rules and get going but you forget that they're little people and they have a their own free will and you need to allow them to be kids. So that was kind of my takeaway from that section of it and they also talked about you know like the tongue can corrupt the whole body. It can make you know yourself sick if you're not being positive positive. and it reminded me of a vlogger that I watch sometimes and she has her kids every day list three things positive things in their life and they're not allowed to say the same so she makes them pick something else and sometimes she'll allow them like once a week to have the same things but I'm thinking I might want to start that I was going to start my cardboard my uh, chalkboard but I couldn't find my chalk so I haven't gotten to do that, but I think definitely listing some positive things at the beginning of the day would be a good way to start. There's another verse that kind of stuck out to me and I'm going to share it. It's um, 1 Peter 3.10. Whatever desire, whoever desires to love life and see good days, let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. We all want to see good days, bring them on. But if God wants his words in our mouth, but instead, we are constantly spouting the opposite to his truth. So how can we expect blessings of good days when we are uh, blurting deceit about the clock? So it's just important to make sure that your speech is positive and glorifying God. That's what I took away from it. So I don't know how you're doing. Are you, what did you learn from chapter four? So let me know in the comments and I'll see you later. Bye.